Hi everyone, it's time for today's video based on New York Times connection game. It's basically a game where you create four groups of four words from 16 given words. You have seen the thumbnail, so you know what the first group we are discussing is. Watch to the end of this video and I will also tell you the other three groups of four words, what each word means, and what they have in common. So today's words are terra firma. So the first word is Earth. Of course, Earth is, you know, the planet we live on, and that's, you know, you know that. But Earth, what's interesting is that we have the word on Earth. And on, on Earth means it's a verb on Earth, means to discover. Did you unearth something? Did you discover something? Now, you know, down to earth is an expression that means that somebody is grounded, somebody is humble, somebody is, you know, not in disguise, somebody is present in this, in his body, is down to earth, is not up in the clouds, you know. Another form for terra firma is brown, you know, ground, on the ground. Like boots on the ground is an expression we use when, you know, the army is present and, you know, goes somewhere. So ground is, you know, ground floor. Ground is the, the place you walk on. That's ground, right? Who's on ground? Who's on the ground? Who's, who's there, right? So ground. Now, ground is also a past tense of grind. Grind, ground. So, you know... Ground meat means meat which is machine and mince. That's ground meat uh, or ground beef. Now, grounded is an expression we use that if somebody is, you're grounded, as in you're, you know, the parents of a child that has been unruly, they say you're grounded. You can't go out for the next two months or you can't even ground somebody on screen. Like you can't access Wi-Fi, you're grounded right grounded means that you can not access something you can go out you can go online now grounds grounds plural means who's taking care of the grounds as in you know this whole area is grounds i take care of the grounds i take care of this whole area like the janitor or caretaker and then grounds also means on which grounds i am you know arresting you for something on what grounds? As in, why? What is the ground? What is the grounds for this criticism? What is your basis? What is your foundation? And then, so grounds, what are the grounds? That's why that ground also means grounded. This is grounded. So it's interesting, grind, ground, but then grounded, right? So it gets really confusing, right? So grind, and then ground, but then grounded. This is grounded in years of research. But then grind, past then is ground. I have been ground dust in this job. Like it's been really hard. But then you're grounded. But then, then this is grounded. So it's like, it gets really confusing. The next word for terra firma is land. Now land means, you know, walking on the land. Like you're on the ocean and you suddenly get to the land. Oh, that, there's land, oh, I see land, right? Land, land, so as opposed to water, as opposed to sky, it's land. So the plane lands, right? So landing, so land, but also this is my land, this is my country, this is where I was born, this is where I was, you know, brought up, land. This land, this country, this place, so it's, you know, terra firma, land, but also land means to to yeah. land, as in to, you know, to come down and to land. Did, did the plane land, right? Did the plane land? So the landed, right? The landed. But then we can use land for ideas that land. That landed. What you just said yeah. about the nature of reality just landed. You just, what you said didn't yeah. land. I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? I, I didn't quite get that. Landing. And then finally, terra firma is soil. You know, soil, you know, the thing that you need soil 
you know, you put fertilizers in soil, but soil is, you know, the dirt, dirt, soil, that brown stuff is usually soil. This is, this is, this is our soil, get off. That's in, this is our land, this is our country. What are you doing? Get out of my country, get out of my soil. But it's also soil is interesting because soil can also be as a verb, means to soil something, to dirty something. I think they just soiled their pants, as in they, you know, they, they went in their pants. So soil means that. So I just wanted to say, you know, grind, right? Grind, ground is the past tense, but then ground dead. So like we have the verb grind, but then we have past tense ground, but then that past tense ground itself is a verb, then it was grounded. So yeah, English can be very confusing and could be frustrating. The further you go up in English, the more you master English, the more confusing it becomes. Because so many people live, speak English at such a basic level, at the sixth grade level. And if you want to get really good at English, like I've been doing for the last 40 years, it takes work. So if you get frustrated, just keep coming and keep working, keep coming and watching my videos and go watch videos then go watch movies with english subtitles don't ever use a dictionary think in the language mm -hmm. so just keep going keep coming back keep working on yourself you're doing good and soon sooner or later your english is going to be way better than the native speakers because they were born into it but you are learning it back hey there friend Nice to meet you. I am Hamid. Sorry for the interruption. If you are enjoying this video and are looking to, to take your English fluency and vocabulary to the next level, I've got something special for you. I offer personalized one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions tailored to your unique goals and interests whether you're focusing on grammar vocabulary pronunciation or all around communication skills i'm here to help you master english in a way that's fun and effective ready to elevate your english click on the link in the description below to book your session with me today let's embark on this journey to english mastery together don't forget to like share comment and subscribe for more tips and tricks on mastering English. Thanks. So these are the words for thrown out. Boot. Now boot is that kick somebody out. Just boot him out, man. He doesn't belong here. Boot, right? So boot. So it means to throw somebody out. But then boot is also boots is what you wear on your shoes. Not on your shoes, your shoes. Boots. So in the other thing i said boots on the ground right so boots the thing that soldiers wear is boots they're not they're special type of shoes which you know black and kind of go all the way almost to your you know to your top of your shin so that's that's boot and then in computing computers boot means to you know start something and then reboot that means restart and then we have a board Booth, B O W O B W O T H, and booth means like a phone booth, like a box. But that's a completely different thing, of course. Yeah. Then the next one for thrown out is bounce. You know, did you bounce him? Have you been bouncing me? Like, you know, the email gets bounced, as in it doesn't doesn't get allowed. It's bounced. So bounce is basically this action. You throw a ball against the wall and it bounces that's kind of a jumping thing it's bouncing right and then so bouncing that's the action of bouncing and then bouncer yeah. bouncer is the guy the big guy they're huge in front of a in front of a you know nightclub or discotheque or something and they don't let you in or if you screw up, they throw you out. That's a bouncer, the big guy. That's a bouncer. Eject is another word for thrown out. Eject is used to, years ago, you guys don't remember this. You didn't even see it, but we had, we had tapes. 
this thing called tapes, you know, and then like a VHS tape for video or way back we had audio tapes and you would eject it. So, you know, you play, rewind and eject where the tape comes out. I know you guys don't know what that is these days, but then eject is basically to throw somebody out. I got ejected from the meeting as in I got thrown out. I got booed at. Yeah. And then eject is also when you were on a plane, the pilot ejected. They just pushed the button and they were, you know, they flew out. That's eject also. Don't make me eject you. It's almost like, you know, I push a button and you fly out of your chair. The last one for thrown out is toss. Just toss him out, man. It doesn't work here. Toss. And toss, T O W S, it's toss and turn, you know, toss, just toss, toss it. This apple is not very good. Toss it, just throw it away, right? Toss. The other expression of toss and turn, when you can't sleep at night, is toss and turn, all of us. Tossing and turning all night, I couldn't sleep. Okay. So the next group of words are fall, falling under pressure, as in you just, so the first one is buckle. Oh my God, I just buckled. They came at me, left and right and center, and I couldn't, I couldn't defeat them. I couldn't fight anymore. I just buckled, fell, right? Fall under about pressure, buckle. And then buckle is also on your belt. Your buckle is the, you know, the metal piece. That's a belt buckle. So buckle basically means you know giving up almost and then that falling under pressure is also cave oh i just caved man i couldn't do it anymore they attacked me they attacked my family i caved as in you know i just went back i said i can't fight anymore basically like buckle cave now cave it's yeah. it's, in, it's in simplest form is the you know the hole in the in the mountain that's the cave verse where you have the caveman. And, you know, you can also use it like, wow, this is a cave. We go in somebody's apartment. It's kind of like very complicated and hidden. It's like a cave. But caving means, the verb cave is to just give up. Collapse. You know, collapse is another one. You just collapsed. I just collapsed. I just fell. It was too much pressure. Too many people came at me. I collapsed. I caved. I buckled. Now, collapse is less, cave is more kind of just you cave, you just accept. Collapse is just you fall apart. The whole thing just collapse, man. I just collapse. So collapse is this, so collapse means fall, right? Now, in any work with your computers on web, if you collapse a box, it goes back. It's, it's a, you know, if it's open, then it becomes closed again. And fall, falling under pressure is give. Now give, it just gave, man. It just, you know, it couldn't, the pressure was too much. And it usually give is used for like an object. It just give, gave, as in it just collapsed. Give, of course, means that, you know, to give and to take. And that's the give. And then we even have expression give and take. There's a give and take here. There's a trade here. Yeah, give is, you know, it's not, doesn't have a lot of meanings. It's just that thing. All right, ways to get attention, shout, you know, shout, kind of like yell, shout, and then, yeah, you shout, and that's basically shouting, yelling, screaming are kind of all the same, and ways to get attention, snap, that's snap, but snap also means, you know, snap means snappy, you know, that's quick, make it snappy, make it fast, and snap, everything changed right but then snap as a verb is like he snapped at me as in he screamed at me or he got short with me or he yelled at me snap so snap can mean you know really quick or to snap this is to snap but also to snap at somebody don't snap at me i'm on your side and don't attack me don't be short with me wait to get the attention wave wave hello are you there? Wave. So, you know, wave has many meanings, of course. You know, the ocean has waves. You are waving. That's the verb wave. But wave basically means the, that formation of matter, which is a wave. Light wave or shock wave or 
sound wave, waves of ocean. Then we have another one, which is W, this is W-A-V-E, wave. What we have wave, W-A-I-V-E, as if it's not confusing enough, W-A-I-V-E, wave, which is the same spelling, and I mean pronunciation, spelling is different. That means to kind of give up on your rights. This is a waiver that shows that I'm no longer pursuing this matter. This is a waiver that shows that we are no longer pursuing this. This is the waiver that releases you of this. So waive. I'm going to waive all my rights as in I'm going to just give them away. I'm not going to follow this matter. So waive, that's the way. And then ways to get attention, whistle. You know, you, you whistle, that's whistling. Now we have an expression, it's called clean as a whistle. You know, it's really, really clean. Clean as a whistle is an expression. And then we have an expression, whistle, whistleblower. Whistleblower is somebody who comes and gives away secrets of a government or a corporation or company or organization. That's a whistleblower. Somebody who's literally, because whistle is, they wear whistle or the whistle thing that uh, you blow, right? This is whistling, but if I had a whistle on my neck, and then I would blow it, and then that is like the referees have. So that's this yeah. expression, whistleblower, comes from that, right? So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. Come back tomorrow. See you later.